Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Auntie Tay YouTube channel. I am going to teach you guys how to make a 3D felt flower pillow. I am a lover of all things flowers, and so anytime I can add them into my home and decor, any, really anything, I absolutely love it. So there's no time to stop and smell the roses because we gotta go make this right. Hey everyone, it's Sam from the Anti Tay team, and you're watching The Sam Show. Let's go make some fun things. To start off, you are going to need your felt, and I like to buy my felt by the yard on the bolt. It's a lot easier, especially for any type of felt flowers. You just get a lot more bang for your buck this way. Now to cut it to fit your Cricut mat, I like to do 11.75 inches instead of 12 inches. This way you bypass a lot of the issues of your fabric getting stuck under the rollers and rolling up. I normally have a lot of problems with that, so I cut it just under 12 inches for my Cricut mat. And then when you put it on your mat, just be sure you're not stretching it any which way and it's within, you know, both sides. It's not overhanging on any which side. And the best tip I can give is if you have the Cricut Maker, use your rotary blade to cut your felt. I think it is so much easier and works so much better than using the fine point blade. So if you have the rotary blade, use it. Uh, and I just cut it on the regular felt setting and I find that it cuts it out super well. So I'm using two different types of anti tay membership flowers and just be careful when you're taking them off the mat. I am using this hot pink one is from the American flag patriotic 4th of July set and then this other one is the Crafty Mommy Bees Juliet Rose Flower. So for the rose, you are going to want to cut 10 petals out on your Cricut of like the regular petals and then the wavy ones with the little square at the end, you'll want eight of those and then eight of the little cup ones with one of the pentagons. And what I am doing with five of the regular petals is I'm doing a cut that's probably an inch and a half. And then on the other five, I'm doing a cut that's about two inches big. This is just gonna give different definition in your flowers. And I am just hot gluing each of those and folding, the, folding them all the same way. When using felt versus paper with this flower, there's a couple of things that you have to do a little bit differently. And normally with the paper flower, you would glue these loose petals onto the, excuse me, it's not a hexagon, it's a pentagon. You would glue it onto that, but I actually found out I had to take it apart. It's better to start in the center and work your way out. So you're gonna wanna do those petals last, even though I already have it finished up at the top, you're gonna wanna do it last. With the first few petals, you can glue the full square onto each other. So you can see how I'm hot gluing on to that square part and I'm doing four all the way around. You're gonna wanna try to get the first couple petals as close as possible to each other and then use a dab of hot glue on the ends to secure them. And then you'll slowly add more petals a little bit looser to give it a little bit more definition. Now, the difference with paper flowers versus using felt is the felt will start getting bulkier. So 
when you're gluing on that bottom piece, you want to start putting it a little bit more towards the side. So instead of it being directly underneath it, you're going to want to get a little higher and a little bit more closer so that each new petal is getting more up and around the top part, if that makes sense. So basically, the edge of the petal should be able to touch the center of the flower when you're adding it on. If it's starting to shrink too far underneath, the middle of your flower will poke out too far and it won't look correct. And this is different with paper. There's not all that bulk, but when you're dealing with felt flowers, you it gets a little chunky on the bottom. And you're just going to get looser and looser with every petal. And it really starts to give it, you know, like a rosebud definition. Now, once you're done with the first eight, you're going to use, you know, the wavy petals that have the edge on the bottom. And the same thing, you're going to want to make sure they come up around the sides. And you're always going back and forth between which way the petals are going so that it's laying in between the last petals you had. You're not going to need a ton of hot glue. Um, felt glues to itself pretty well um, and you don't want to add too much more bulk but make sure you're adding enough that it's going to be stable because this is going to be a pillow so it's going to get some use and making sure it's solid and all the petals are where it should be are really going to help make a difference of it keeping its shape long term. With these petals, you're going to get it even looser and towards the end, they're barely going to touch each other on the side. And then this is where I found out it actually didn't fit on the original base. And so I ended up taking all of those petals apart and then placing them higher up and one at a time around the edge. So you'll have two layers of five petals. Um, and I did these ones first on the bottom because I knew about where I wanted them to sit. And it was a lot easier to put them this way. And I love how it turned out. It looked so much better. Another thing with felt flowers is you get a lot of the definition with where you put your glue versus being able to curl them like you would the paper. And so if you want it to tuck in a certain place, um, and curl up a little bit more, you're just going to add some glue to that spot instead. And you can see I'm adding it so it kind of curls up a little bit. Now for this flower, it is four layers that go on top of each other. So I am just making sure they're all sitting just slightly off so that they're filling in the gaps each layer and you're gonna try to make as tight of a cone as you can it's a lot harder with the felt than it is the paper but you're just gonna use a little bit dab of hot glue and make a cone and then when you have it glue it to the next layer and you're gonna keep working up for this next layer, I wanted it to be pinched at the bottom and you'll see I put some glue and then held it for a little bit and then I added more glue to glue it to the rosebud. It, it's really fun. You can really change the look of the flower a lot based on where and how you glue the petals. Um, I think that's really fun.
to have a lot of options with the same cut flower with just gluing it a little bit differently. And then the last couple layers, I just glued a little bit on each petal and stuck it to the layer above it. Now, to put it on a pillow, I just had an envelope pillowcase that I had made using the Anti Tay tutorial, and I'm just hot gluing it on. And then I might later on do hand stitch it on, but the hot glue will really hold it, especially if you use a good amount on it and push it and hold it on. And there you have your 3D felt flower pillow. I love it in my little garden room, aka my craft room. And then I realized I filmed that whole tutorial without my ring. Oops. Mm -hmm.